drinking mm-hmm. water, whether it's yeah. spring water or whatever, I don't feel well. Frankly, yeah. I, it doesn't doesn't help me at mm-hmm. all. And yeah. I've heard yeah. people say, you're just doing the wrong thing. And, mm-hmm. um, and again, yeah. I, I think that that's not knowing my body. You're trying to tell me something somebody <laughs> else is about my body that you don't exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. Well, wait, 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 I am not... Wayne, not can I, chronically unhealthy. I'm Wayne, very can healthy. I, can I jump in there? Because you, the key to what you said is knowing mm-hmm. your body. You know, most yeah. of us have grown up eating the, mm. lack of better words, crap that is thrown at yeah. us, the processed foods and all of that. Yeah. And that builds a toxic load in our body that sometimes yeah. it is necessary to drink that water to, to flush that out. You, no. you are a healthy, exercising yeah. You know your body and you eat properly. And I think that's the key that people need yeah. to understand. Um, to try and tell somebody they can go ahead and go to McDonald's and have that burger yeah. and fries and triple size the Coke and everything else, yeah. and then come home and just drink a lot of water, they're going to be all right. Not the case. Yeah. No, no, that's not the case. And I, I think, you know, I really appreciate what, what Wayne's just shared, and that is about um, – the fluids that come from really good quality whole foods in your juices and and you know fruits and vegetables is is the best way to get water but like you said if someone has come from a really poor diet um they definitely need some well they can do it many ways certainly if they wanted to juice to get those fluids in or really good quality water is going to help them flush most people are dehydrated and that is as much to do with minerals as it is to do with fluids. And that's why juices, I feel, are so important in today's world because you're getting the minerals in that help your body to absorb the the water um, properly at a cellular level, not just going straight through the kidneys and back out again. Um, I think we, you know, we weren't born with a juicer on one hand and a blender on the other, but we've had to adapt to today's world, which is very polluted. So we've needed to upregulate what we do and to get better nutrition in a concentrated form and to really saturate with it, to offset. Even even if we have a really healthy lifestyle, we're still breathing the polluted air. There's no such thing as a a place on the planet now that isn't polluted. So these strategies come in to offset that toxicity. So a lot of us, a lot of us, a lot of us here in the States, uh, Lisa, live yeah. in an urban area where we don't yeah. have access like you and Wayne to spring water on our, on our little yeah. tiny track home yeah. house, wherever we live. And with that, Chris, if you can see there, ask a question. If you, if anybody, Wayne, obviously jump in if you have an opinion. Anyone have an opinion on magnetizing reverse osmosis filtered water? I personally mm-hmm. don't know anything mm-hmm. about that. So if you do, please feel free to answer the question for Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for for me, the um, reverse osmosis certainly cleans the toxins out, but it also cleans everything else out. Um, so for me, it's not living water. Magnetizing it may give it some level of, of energy, but again, it's trying to replicate what nature already does perfectly. <laughs> so for me, there's other factors that come in, as in mineralization. Um, and also the like um, Wayne was talking about with the um, microbial um, function of water, the intelligence that comes from nature that's imprinted in the water. If you want to go to that level, um, that I feel is also really important. So 